which war against the soul, related to human desire or bodily appetite, sensual, fleshly desires. You ever heard someone say, they so heavenly minded, they ain't no earthly good. Who made that up? Who came up with that? Whoever came up with that does not read their Bible. Whoever made that statement is carnal and all I know is. You're so heavenly minded, you know fleshly good. The Bible said, set your affection on things above. Somebody read their Bible over here. And not on things of the earth. Ain't that what the word say? So guess what? But they might do 
Right. Disunity, mm. ill will, and bad blood. That's the war that's going on in our members every day. So 12 says, having your conversations that you, well, let's see, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles, that whereas they speak against you as evildoers, they may by your good works, which they shall behold, glorify God in the day of visitation. Now it says, while it is possible that we may have several occupations throughout our lifetime as a saint, one of our main jobs is to be a light to those who are with us. So let's go to Titus. Titus chapter 2. The uh, verse is 14. It's okay, I'm going to nine. Yeah. It says, Exhort servants to be what? Obedient. Unto who? They do what? Obedient. Not doing what? Not answering again. That's talking back. Mm-hmm. Not prolonging, but showing all good fidelity. Not infidelity, good fidelity, that they may what? Adorn. Make more beautiful or attractive. Now, while I take a pause, somebody go back and start with the word adorn. And read that for me. Adorn the doctrine of God. Adorn the doctrine of God. I'll, but, wait, I'll say mm-hmm. in all things. Adorn the doctrine of God. Yes. So clearly, it is not talking about dressing up the word of God because the word of God is right all by itself. Yes. Right. Right. But we're supposed to be living epistles, read yes. all yes. Yes. So adorn, make yes. more beautiful yes. or attractive. To embellish, to decorate, furnish, ornament, add ornament to, enhance, beautify, prettify, deck, dress, array, set off, do up, do out, be jewel. It says adorn of the doctrine of God. We can put so much emphasis on dressing up for the world that we're not adorning the doctrine of God. We're not just plain old being saved. Just regular old being the difference in the world. Just plain old being a light to somebody that needs to be saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. So it says that 11 12 says teaching us that what? Denying ungodliness and what? Worldly lust. lust. We should what? Uh huh. Uh huh. When? Right now. This is not backwoods. This is not outdated. This is not antiquated. Right now. Did I say right? Right now. You know, I'm supposed to come here right now. In this present world, right now, do it now. In this present world, looking for the blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, that he might what? From what? And what? What? There you go with those different people again. You going to let God waste his blood? You going to let him waste what he did for us on camera? You going to continue to sit in between? You going to continue to shroud the fence? You going to constantly sit here and battle with the flesh and the spirit? 
who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto him a peculiar people, zealous of good works. These things speak and exhort, and what? Do 
ain't on my church night, period. You better watch out now! Thank <laughs> you.